this into two parts for example first one is the private business and other one is public business okay this is a measurable target that business plan to achieve let me explain it objective it's a stated and measurable target stated measurable target measurable target that a business plans to achieve that business plan to achieve okay let me tell you one thing that is a universal reality of the any business that they want to achieve maximum profit that is one objective for any kind of a business so you want some growth in your business increase market share this is another yes. objective making sense increasing market share discussing that what could be the private business objective obviously profit maximum to uh, open your different franchises in different cities okay and you want to increase your market share and we you already know that what kind of a market share or what does it mean Okay, profit maximization. The question is how much profit you want to earn. So I, uh, you can write it as well as profit satisfying. Okay. Profit. This means that to achieve enough profit to keep the owner satisfied. Simple as that. Okay. Satisfying. Whatever the spelling it is. Okay. The most important thing. that should be on point number 1 but i am writing over here is the survival when you start your business you always looking to survive in the market you if you are not in the position to earn the profit but as at least you you try your best not to go or not to enter into the loss at least i should remain on the break even point okay so that is the stage where you try your best to survive in the market once you survive ultimately you will get profit but the first step before earning the profit is the survival first you have to survive in the market clear then you think about the growth and then you think about the market share or the profit satisfying okay that should be the point number 1 survival so any business any business that is operating in the private sector have such kind of an objective because they want to survive then they will uh, go for profit maximization then growth obviously you can uh, give me a different headings but you think it is a better or appropriate to add over there there are a lot of things there are a lot of objective of any business so growth increase the market share okay one more things that we will add over there is csr csr and this is known as corporate social responsibility corporate social responsibility what is corporate social responsibility which is this is simply mean considering the interest of the society consider the interest of the society considering the interest of the society by taking responsibility for the impact by taking responsibility responsibility for the impact of their decision for the impact of their decision add activities on customer and activities on customers employees and society for example for example if you have a transportation business okay 
obviously each and every you each and every of your decision will impact your customers will impact your employees and also will impact the societies once you have a transportation business so you should keep in mind that you are the cause of societal or the society pollution okay so what you will do or what you will give in return to the society because you are harming the the society greenery or the society pollution you are the reason of the society pollution so what you will do in return so you might be possible you take you uh, can take a decisions for the plantation of trees let's say okay this is something you are giving in return to your society okay that that's become a csr you know by earning a profit and give something in return to your society that have positive impact not only your customers your employees and all over the society once you will do csr okay your customer will be loyal and they will be happy to buy anything from you because they know that they have a very you have a very good reputation in the mind of your customers employee will feel proud because we are the part of such kind of associations or such kind of organizations and ultimately society will be in a pleasant i i i i just an example just an example i am mentioning one thing over here as a part of the objective of the public business number 1 provide efficient and reliable service provide efficient and reliable service what what should i mention here to encourage the social and economic development to encourage social and economic development okay what other things that i can write over here is to create the employment to create employment or you can say prevent a major job loss if industry is making a financial loss if prevent a major job loss prevent major job loss these are the objective of or the difference of the public and the private business objectives that is known as social enterprises i don't know we have discussed it in the previous lecture or not but let me tell you social enterprises what are the social enterprises the question is that okay social enterprises bache social enterprises mainly or refers to the business with mainly social objectives it refers to mainly social enterprise refers to the business with mainly social objective that reinvest more of its profit that reinvest most of its profit most of its profit into benefiting the society into benefiting the society rather than rather than maximizing the return to owners maximizing return to owners okay let's talk about some of its objective this they have basically three common objective number one economic as you already know financial financial means to make a profit and to reinvest back into the business 
make profit and reinvest back reinvest back into the business into the business okay second objective is a social social to provide jobs and support for a local provide job and support for a local maybe they are uh, giving a loan on a very lesser or with no interest that could be any reason to support the localities okay and then environment environment to protect the environment and manage the business in an environmentally sustainable way protect environment environment and manage the business and manage business business in an environmentally sustainable way in an environmentally sustainable way sustainable way and these three objectives social economic and environment all these combine known as triple bottom line triple bottom line objectives so this is how uh, the social enterprise have these triple bottom line this means that profit is not the sole objective of these enterprise 